In 2003, I began inspecting history. It started while I was reading a book about how art, chemistry, and technology interact to render the gorgeous hues we admire on our walls and in our museums. I was in ecstasy until the author introduced the atom. I could recall and later grasp the material explaining the intrinsic characteristics of the atom. However, the crystal field theory was unintelligible. The clover-shaped D orbital splits into multiple orbitals, and this process is called crystal field splitting. When white light falls on the compound, a substance that results from a combination of two or more different chemical elements, an electron makes a transition into a higher state thus absorbing a particular wavelength of light. The remaining light is reflected, and this reflected light is responsible for the color of the compound. I became obsessed with these balloon animal-like orbitals and painted several portraits of them. While tackling another essay about orbitals in an encyclopedia of particle physics, I was mesmerized by a photograph of Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer on the opposite page and overcome by a need to know more. Studying Dr. Oppenheimer's life directed me to the opening of the nuclear age the opening of the nuclear age led me to the Second World War, and the Second World War reawakened my rage against anti-Semitism and the Holocaust. We document Mother Teresa as saying, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across waters to create many ripples. I see my study of history as a series of stones I cast across the water to create ripples that eventually link to form a better understanding of man's careless errors. If we unite to form a crusade promoting the study of history, such insight may someday lead to the changes necessary to free humankind from such things as war, hunger, discrimination, and intolerance. On Sunday, December 1st, 2019, Amazon removed Christmas tree ornaments, a bottle opener, and other products featuring pictures of Auschwitz. The company took down the products after the Auschwitz-Birkenau Memorial and Museum in Poland publicly called on Amazon to act. At the gym where I work, we have a 16-inch by 16-inch aerobic exercise step platform. I stack a multitude of risers underneath it when I store it on the side area of the artificial turf. One morning, while looking at it, I realized that my ephemeral installation reminds me of one of the Twin Towers. I have considered putting a stop to my ritual because I don't want to trigger a member's PTSD. I am an anti-anti-Semite and own a t-shirt featuring a stick figure 
throwing a swastika in a trash can. I have only worn it once and during an open studio event because the setting was intimate and visitors could see what was going on in the picture. Am I being oversensitive? I feel how I act or acted at the gym and in my studio is due largely to the fact that I well know of what happened on September 11th, 2001 and during the Holocaust. Even though a majority of us walk around with computers in the palms of our hands, we can still ignore both current and past events. The accoutrements adorned with pictures of Auschwitz brought my study of history to mind because I know exactly what happened there. But does everyone else?